Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? Guess what? I'm alive. I know it looks obvious because I'm here talking with you, having coffee with you this morning, but I'm alive. I've been mulling over life and what that looks like because so many of us, because of all the deep, dark COVID fatigue, we've gotten into a survival mode. And when we wake up, we don't really feel alive. We feel like we're surviving. There's a breath going in and breath coming out. And we're jumping through the hoops of what is now regular life. But friends, we have a choice to make. I have a choice to make. And if you'll let me be vulnerable for a minute, maybe you'll see the same in your life. I have to choose to live. Did you realize that I have to choose to put my feet on the floor every morning, get out of bed, get ready for the day, do something with this hair that really, really needs to be cut? <laughs> Mr. Chelsea. Um, but I have to choose to live. It was funny because Jimmy asked the other day, by the way, that noise is a coffee maker because I'm running a little bit late. But you're important and I need to talk to you. You may ask the other day, he says, so why do you drink coffee every morning? And I said, well, because it's life. <laughs> well, not really. It's, coffee is not life. But it certainly brings a quality to life that is wonderful. And it also helps me know that I can still smell and I can still taste, which is, you know, COVID stuff. Anyway. I do have to choose what kind of life I'm living though, don't I? I have to choose whether I'm going to see the anger someone is giving me or whether I'm going to see the created being underneath them that is hurting and in pain. I have to see that what I'm doing and bragging about to other people is not nearly as good as what I want people to think it is. And maybe there's a depth of unforgiveness, a depth of insecurity, a depth of hurt from my past that is saying, look at me, I'm a good girl, I'm helpful, and I'm kind. So I have to look at my life and think through, I've been given the opportunity to an abundant life today. So in that, I must choose life. For some of you, it is literally, I have to choose to stay alive today. Because I am so close to the breaking point that at any moment, I, I really do want to stand in front of a train. I'm done. I need to get out of here. So some of you, it's literally not giving up on breath going in and breath going out. And for some of you, it's shake it off. You need to live abundantly. So get your coffee or tea, sit for a moment with your feet on the ground and re-evaluate where you are. Then get your boots on and get outside because you need some ecotherapy to wake up. I don't know what it looks like for you, but I know what it looks like for me. And for me, it's viewing others with God's eyes, not getting so hung up on their behavior that I breed this us and them mentality or teenagers. No, they're people, they're individuals, and I love them to bits. We talk a lot about Gen Z and millennials and exennials and Gen X, and we divide into defining generations. You know what? Your people, let them just be. And that will bring a quality of life to you that is far more abundant because you're not trying to analyze. You're not trying to put them in a box. You're not trying to force their behavior to be something. I mean, there's to, there's times when a parent needs to step in because there's disrespect happening. But I mean, overall, behaviors of who they have been created to be, they're not created to be you. And I have to remind myself of that. 
not everyone's going to look like this and thank the Lord above because probably most of you are like, oh, I don't want to look like you either. Right? Because I have my own story to tell. So today I choose life. Today I choose joy. I choose to see that when the person who's running late, even though he called the time of the meeting, when he's running late, there's something there beyond that. When someone says, thank you for, it's because something God has used me to do has touched their life. It's not because I did anything. You are so special, dreamer. And you are worth an abundant life. So take a moment today and think, how do I have life? How do I choose life? And often it is by showing the other that they are valuable. It's a boomerang effect. It's the smell and taste of abundant life. And it's worth living. So shake it off, wipe the sleepy out of your eyes, and start living. Sweet dreams.